fans of The Wolf Among Us, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you for your patience. You're getting Wolf Among Us season two. <laughs> Telltale fans, this is gonna be for you guys. Uh, this is happening because of you. I'm just really happy that we get to be able to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and we're back for another video discussing The Wolf Among Us 2 and its latest update. It's been a little while, guys, since I did a video individually covering The Wolf Among Us 2. So, if you remember one of my last Telltale videos, I revealed that, yes, I have got to see Meet Telltale. I went to the Expanse, a Telltale series preview event, and I got to talk with a lot of the devs and team behind not just Wolf, but Telltale in general. Did I ask questions about Wolf Among Us 2? Yes. Did I get the answers I wanted? Probably no, because they were very frank and basically said, we're, we don't really have much to say about Wolf 2. But in due time, you will find out. You know, so I was like, ah. But they made the point clear, Wolf 2 is in good progress, and it seems like it is on pace to have that 2024 release date, which is good. Let them cook. I'm going to be discussing, from me going to the Expanse preview event, what we could expect Wolf 2 and the latest news we have in regards to it. When do we expect some major updates slash information? Now that we know the Expanse's release date and the window of it, I definitely think I can make better predictions on when I expect we should see some Wolf stuff. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you miss any of my videos discussing Telltale Games, have it set to all, join about that near almost 100,000 people that have the bell hit, and be sure to join about that near 35-ish percent of people that are subscribed behind the red subscribe button. Alright guys, it's been about 3-4 months since I did an individual Wolf Among Us 2 years, so go for a thousand likes, really would appreciate that, and enjoy. But with the Expanse Episode 1 and me being able to play it, I can kind of make some more predictions now on what we could expect with the Wolf Among Us 2. So with the Expanse now, let's first talk release date. With the Expanse now having a confirmed July 27th release date and episodes dropping every two weeks. We now know what the pattern is likely going to be for Wolf 2. Telltale has made it clear now that the games are going to be fully developed before the first episode drops, meaning all five episodes will be complete by the time the first episode releases. They are still doing what the old Telltale did in releasing episodes episodically and with small waits in between, but this time just like how The Walking Dead Final Season was, but even better, it's planned out much, much better. We can expect the same for Wolf 2. Probably every two weeks, we'll get a new episode, which is pretty awesome. No longer having to have those long waits, but still having time to have theories and discussions in between each new episode will be awesome. Again, I can't confirm if Wolf 2 is going to have exactly the same. It's going to be every two weeks. Maybe they'll do every three weeks because Wolf 2 is a bigger game. I don't know, but at least I know it will be planned and won't be all over the place with you know, dates, it'd be like one episode you have to wait a month, one episode be two months, I mean that was kind of like the pattern with the old Telltale, you never knew what you were going to get. Now in terms of an update, now knowing that The Expanse comes out 27th and it's every two weeks, I did the math, when is The Expanse going to finish? So if it does stick to its every two weeks release window, and follows that Thursday, July 27th date, it will end September 21st. One quick side note is there's also a DLC episode, so we're likely looking even into October potentially if that DLC comes out, let's say two weeks afterwards. So yes, it's going to be a long wait. What does that mean for Wolf 2? In my opinion, we are going to get a major update before the end of the year. I don't know if it's going to be a new trailer, I don't know if it's going to be gameplay, I don't know if it's going to be just revealing of the release date. I do believe that the game is coming out sometime early next year. I can't say if it's gonna be in the first three months, but I do think between January to probably May, I think it's gonna release in between that window. Remember, Telltale is also working on another unannounced project, so they've got multiple things in the pipeline. So I would definitely expect an update probably around the Game Awards show. I would say we're between November, December, maybe even early next year depending. Now, I'll do a release date prediction soon, probably when the Expanse is probably near its end. You'll probably get one from me, and we'll finally get to discuss when I think The Wolf Among Us 2 will come out. I know I keep wanting to do release date predictions, but Telltale keeps pushing the game back, and if I had made a release date prediction all those months ago, I would have probably been wrong because 
they've changed the window so many times now at this point that it's not even worth doing it until I feel like we even get closer to the game dropping. So in terms of the gameplay, the Expanse, when I played it, I got to see a look at what The Wolf 2 could become. The whole one of the big key points of emphasis was exploration. This is the most explorative Telltale game, which was The Expanse. I talked about that in my video. But that means The Wolf Among Us 2. They are going to try to it's definitely enhance the exploration in that world with Big B. I don't know exactly what, with being a detective, that might be a key point of emphasis they're going to try to do. Make that Big B being a detective exploring, uh, examining the world is going to be a definitely bigger factor into the game. I also do expect them to add collectibles because they have collectibles in The Expanse, they had collectibles in the final season of The Walking Dead. I think it's just a trend now that Telltale Games are going to include collectibles. But I definitely expect some kind of combat thing that would be really nice. It would be really, really cool if they had that. And just being able to be a lot more explorative with Fable Town. And, you know, I hopefully think choices will matter more considering that The Expanse literally confirmed every character except for one is determinate. So I don't know if they'll deal with Wolf 2, obviously. But I would think that they're going to definitely raise the stakes with choices compared to the old Telltale. They also confirmed some about platforms. Now, we know Wolf Among Us 2 is coming to consoles and PC, but it seems like it's gonna release as an Epic Games Store exclusive, and I know people are gonna be mad about that. I'm definitely gonna get people complaining, but it just seems like that is the cycle now with Telltale. And think about this from their perspective. They just came back from the dead. They need to make money. Releasing on Epic Games Store, as much as some of you might not like it, I, you have to understand they're trying to make a profit. Epic Games Store gives them the most revenue share about 90, 10, I don't know the exact split, but Epic Games Store gives them a great split. But I think the games will inevitably come to Steam. So what they did with the Expanse, at least that's what I'm kind of interpreting, is that they're going to release it exclusively on the Epic Games Store at launch, and then probably when the game's all said and done, they'll drop it on Steam. Same is probably going to happen for Wolf 2. I'm sorry, but that is probably going to be the case. I don't think we're far, far away from hearing from the Wolf Among Us 2. Maybe half a year? Maybe less, four or five months. It's not going to be that long. The Expanse will come and go, and I'm excited to play regardless. It'll be about a two-month, you know, stretch. It'll be pretty exciting. I'm not gonna lie. We'll go pretty much from the end of July to pretty much the end of September, eventually even to October with the DLC episode. But and then we get to really start to ramp up our excitement videos, etc. For Wolf 2. So I'm so so excited for that. Now, in comparison to The Expanse, if you guys have any questions that you'd like me to answer, again, I can't, again, I had a couple conversations about Wolf 2. Some of them were private, and I can't obviously divulge what was said, but I will tell you that you have to trust that they are cooking, as I said earlier, and that we will hopefully be getting the game early next year. Can't say when, because I don't know, but those are just my interpretation based on what is happening. I would assume they want to get Wolf 2 out pretty soon after The Expanse. And then their new IP, which they're probably going to be revealing, they may reveal it this year at the Game Awards show. Who knows what they're going to do, but I am very, very excited. And Big B and Fable Town will be back sooner than you think. I promise you that. So, my friends, you'll probably not see another update video probably till sometime near The Expanse's end. I think that is fair unless we get any news or rumblings, but you'll definitely get some Telltale update stuff, you know, just in general. So stay tuned for that kind of stuff. But, as my good friend Adam Harrington once said, stay tuned, Mondays. Alright, my friends, so that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy this, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. What do you want to see from The Wolf Among Us 2? What do you want to see from Telltale? This is just a mini update on what you can expect when the game drops inevitably next year. So get very very excited if you want to see more of my impression of the expanse check the end screen at the end of the video or the card in the top right and i want to thank you guys so much for watching let's go for a thousand likes again and i'll catch you guys in the next video discussing big b and fable town thank you so much for watching and have a great day Bye bye